How you doing, Musa? Doing good. How you doing? Hey, man, if you could just sum up your first year in college, man. What would you say about your first year playing in college in, at Memphis? I mean, it was great. Like, it was great. I had a lot of experience. Like, like it was it was really like wonderful because it's really like it's really different than high school. Danielle, Musa. First of all, who is the best bowler on the team? I think everybody. <laughs> oh come on, a real answer. Well. The best bowler, probably me. I had like four streaks. Okay, okay. Um, and secondly, looking ahead to Boise State, you know, they're, they're big man down low. I mean, he's, he's kind of a handful. How much have you guys watched um, film of them yet? And do you have any thoughts on that matchup? Um, we watch a lot of films. We watch like, like film every time, like every time. Like we watch a lot of him. I think we gonna, we gonna be, we gonna be good. And he, like, he, he's like a goal. He, he know how to dribble a little bit and stuff, but, like, I think I'm going to be able to go. Bob? You're muted, Bob. Sorry, Musa. What is it like preparing for a team that you guys haven't seen before? You had to do it against Dayton, and now you're having to do it against Boise State. How do you guys go about getting ready for somebody that is so new? Uh, we watch a film a lot. We watch a lot of film, and uh, we we like we have like a two string round, so we we go over there play like defense earlier, and then do like um, offense on um, on the second string round. So we really watch, but like most most time we watch a film. Mm -hmm. And then and, what we. And Cody, Cody, um, Coach Cody and uh, Coach JJ, they sent me a film for, um, on a personal. So then what will you learn in the first, say, four or five minutes of the game out there on the floor against somebody? You had to do it against whoever you were guarding with Dayton, and then you'd have this time with Armouche. Well, sometimes he's like, I got, I already watched his tape, so he's like, everything, he's not, he's like, he's not going to be like on the tape every time, so, um, most of the time, I go on the motion, see how he how he play, and trying to figure him out and go him. Mike, hey Musa, um, how hard has it been waiting? I mean, you guys have been, uh, you know, you played on Saturday and you're going five or six days without playing, and you're in this bubble where you can't do a lot. Are you guys antsy to get back on the court and play again? Yeah, I mean, I'm excited to get back. Is is he wasn't really hard because we we go um we go to the gym and work out and come out and eat and relaxing and stuff. So it's not really that hard what for me. I don't think so. It's not. What else have you guys been doing to pass the time? You know, we've seen some bowling, like Danielle said, and there's been arcade time. What have you guys been doing to try to pass the time? I mean, we've been we went share quality times together out as a team. Like we be going, we went to the bowling the other day, and then we came out. We was like we was having fun together as a team. We we went to each other's rooms and playing video games and stuff. It was pretty fun. Jason, hey Musa, have you have you watched any of your film? Any of your personal film from say the first part of the season, like the first, you know, the first game, first week, first first month of the season. Yeah, I I watched it with Coach Penny. It was like I grew a lot. Like the beginning of the season, I remember I couldn't even like make a layer. I was kind of nervous, and then for now, like I'm really like my game has grown. When did you? Uh, was this recently that you watched uh, that early film? Nah, during um, I think it was against uh, SMU at home. Yeah, and so before uh, that game. Yeah, first. so so that that was kind of the 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 point I was trying to get at is how how I mean you you obviously have noticed yourself um, improving pretty dramatically uh, from the beginning of the season. Um, 
what what specific areas? I mean, you, you mentioned making layups, but are there other areas that uh, you feel like you've made uh, big strides? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, I progress on a lot of like a lot of positions, like position, positioning myself in the game, and uh, knowing my area, and uh, knowing when when to go like on on the wing, when to go out, when to come and like like um like um contesting shot like on the wings and stuff like I progressed a lot over there because before like I was I didn't really know like a low man and high like and nails when you got to college did you did you think you had that much uh room for improvement room for growth or did you think that did you think that you were you know ready at first I think I was I was gonna dominate like like in high school, but like I was wrong, and I think like I found out how a lot to learn. So my game is growing. Anthony. Oh, uh, Musa, how you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? Pretty good. Uh, you mentioned. Uh, that you've uh, grown and had a lot to learn. What is the most important thing that you think that you've learned so far this season? Um, like how to guard in the post and uh, how to, like how to screen like my like my screen my yeah, my screen my screening games has grown a lot because before like when I was screening like and then my um ball screen game. Cause my first game, if you read like if he, I watched my first game, I was they was beating me every time on the ball screen. Like that was one of my weaknesses. So I, we work on that every time on coaches, and I got a lot better on that. Um, and my position in the game, know where like where I'm supposed to be every time. Like those, that's where, that's where I grow at. How how would you describe your uh, experience at Memphis uh, this past year? Uh, like, what is one thing that went how you expected it to go and something that you didn't expect to happen that you had to adapt to? Well, um, my, my explanation was, like, I was going to come and then real play. Like, I was in high school, like, playing, like, do all the time, but I like, didn't go that way. And then I could teach me how to, like, play the real basketball, like, and, like, it was, I was thinking like I was gonna come and shoot a ball and do all that stuff, but like that's like I work on it, but like, I feel like that's not my game in college. So they put me in a position where I can be a great player. Two more, Danielle. Musa, it seems like you and DeAndre have grown really, really close. Um, what can you tell me about that friendship off the court, and how has that relationship helped you on the court? I mean, DeAndre, DeAndre is like a really good guy. He's he's generous with everybody. Everybody love him and he's a lovable person. And every time me and him, like we he looking out for me and pass me the ball. And every time even I miss it, he'd be like, Look, I gotta get you the ball, like you better make it and stuff. He, he motivated me, like he's a real good person. He's like a big brother to me. Why do you think you guys vibe so well? Uh, I think that came natural. Like, I don't even know, like we just we just be like sitting and then started started making like funny stuff and then laughing. That's how we vibe. Like it's, it came natural. Last question, Bob. Looking at your defensive numbers, they're really really good. Why do you guys think you're t so tough defensively? What makes you a handful as a team? Well, uh, we do a lot of defensive stuff in practice. And uh, our coaches like he like he let us do everything on offense, but all he asked for us is like play the real defense. Like he hard on us on defense. I think that's why. And then everybody like desperately play defense. Mm -hmm.